Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do this and turn it into this, right? So first let's create a new file. Doesn't matter the size, right? Uh, and now let's wait for it to load. There we go. All right. So first let's make a rectangle. All right. And then I'm just going to increase the, uh, I'm just actually going to scale it down. 80% and always try preview right so just copy instead of okay all right and now I'm gonna go ahead and create these little corner pieces and so first I'm gonna show you like a very quick one uh, simple compared to what you actually seen right and then after I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse for you guys so you can see the whole process because depending on how you do it it can be lengthy right so now let's go ahead and select everything and then let's uh, increase the line size to 10 and then here you can either choose uh, Pathfinder what I always do is uh, so if you notice everything's in one group so let's ungroup it right and to make sure, let's press Control shift d right? And as you can see, all these are now separate parts, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's put it all back together, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and group a few different pieces, right? So right now we've grouped the outside and then the inside we're going to use for a, um, we're going to go ahead and use it for a, uh, for the actual glass, right? So let's remove the border and change the uh, color to white, right? And then here, you can either just copy and paste in place, which is Control uh, Shift V, right? Then go to Effect, Effect Gallery, and then uh, if you right click and then zoom out to 12% or 6% depending on the size, right? And this is the downside to this, right? It does take a little bit of time. And the best option I like is the cell size to be 50, right? And this does take a minute. Now, while we're waiting, I do want to thank... Uh, or uh, I, I want to thank you guys for suggesting this, right? This uh, was something I was not sure on how to do. Uh, but after a little bit of research, I found some ways to do it. And this was a little bit of a challenge, but it was definitely well worth it, right? So I made a lot of mistakes in the process. But this is why I'm showing you guys a very easy way to do it, right? Okay, so now that we have that, right? We did duplicate that rectangle, uh, so there's another copy, right? Now we go to Expand Appearance, right? And then we're going to go ahead and Image Trace and click on the Image Trace window, right? Now if, if you don't have it, you can go up to Window and, um, and use the Image Trace window, right? One thing I like is to... Uh, put it at 254 right almost at the max and then just expand it right so now here if you notice everything is all um everything is all like different um different shapes right so now here let's see we're gonna go ahead and change the fill to white everything is white and then if you notice the lines in between uh, so we're gonna go ahead and also change the lines or at least that there is a line for some reason it doesn't want to get here it doesn't want to affect it right so let's change these lines to black which is, they're actually just shapes right just smaller shapes all right so now let's go ahead and select everything and then unhide the rectangle below that and then do the same thing, right? Path 
finder and then divide all right so now also I do like to use the shape build tool to just go through all the shapes and make sure they're separate pieces right and if they change color that's perfectly fine because it just lets you um, individual like change the color individually of each shape right sometimes the downside to this is that sometimes there are shapes that are all one shape instead of individual shapes but that's okay all right we can always work with that all right and then just make sure that the in-between lines or the lines in between sorry um will end up showing um uh, or being filled in with black right and here I just go through and make sure that everything looks good okay now this is the manual work right now right so first let's go ahead and select everything and or sorry make everything transparent and then start filling in the color right the first thing I want to I do is fill in the lines and then afterwards, I just go in and, um, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hide the, the in between, uh, the lines in between, right? Or the shape that for the lines. And then I'm going to increase the lines, strokes, sorry, to about five. And then the fill to be white, right? And then just get the uh, lines in between uh, enabled again or visible okay now this is where the fun stuff begins right uh, as you can see the border right what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the point select tool just to select the shapes instead of the whole groups and then go ahead and change the color right I'm gonna do a yellow for the corners and then for the uh, longer rectangles I'm just gonna do a black and one thing I like to do is I like to make it pure black not like a gray a dark grayish all right so now that we have that that's when we can start to color in the rest right so this is where uh, it's all up to you on how you want to do it. And let's see. So we're just going to go through it and select all these outer ones. There we go. And then just the eyedrop tool to change it to yellow, right? And then afterwards, here, this is where I just select the other ones and change the color to red right and then the center one to blue now you can do this with any shape that you make uh and one thing uh that i like to do is i just i i'm i complicate my life i like to make very difficult shapes so i'm just going to save this and now we are going to go ahead and get into the time lapse of the actual picture that you guys seen. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and catch you guys after.
Alright, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next. And, uh, yeah. Bye!